welcome you guys to my new series and I call this the, uh, the series things you should know okay uh, I will talk about physical facts that uh, you always encounter in normal life and sometimes you are asked how this works and I don't know if if this happened to you that you don't know how this happens and in this lecture I will talk about the reason why clouds fly okay uh, when you look up at clouds they they fly why do they fly this is the question okay now let's have a look before I can really explain why uh, clouds fly we have to look at a very important thing and this is called Archimedes' principle what is this principle imagine yourself we have a basin of water and in this basin of water I take a little piece of wood and I throw it into that basin of water and you saw that maybe that the level of water increased this is because of the water that is displaced here it will add here on these both sides and now why does this piece of wood not mm, submerge into water and fall down actually there is a reason if you look at it we have some force the gravitational force and this is pushing it down in order mm, for the piece of wood to float in water there has to be another force and this force is called the buoyance force and it's a very important part of Archimedes's principle it tells you that the buoyance force is equal to the mass of water that is displaced by the object and actually this is this mass of water which is displaced okay or actually not mass I told you mass but actually it's weight so the force the buoyance force so the force that is pushing your piece of wood up is equal uh, to the weight of this of the displaced water actually this is this part this is um, you can weight this part and this um, this weight force so to say will push it up now uh, I told you this and it's, it looks clearly this is why wood would float and a very important variable here or a constant natural constant is the density because the density of wood is in general lower than the density of water it will float okay now there are other reasons it's it's very important that the displaced water is the the weight of uh, the displaced water is higher than the weight of the, your object okay or it will not float it will submerge in water now let's look why do clouds fly then okay if you look at this picture it's very sketchy here in the bottom we have air this shall be the the surface of our earth and here is a cloud okay now let's look what happens here below you you can imagine you have here a lot of water particles and they are squeezed together but if you squeeze something um, its density will uh, increase okay in contrast to that up here you have less air and less density and uh, here I drawn here an axis the row row actually stays for uh, is the, the Greek ladder row here and this denotes the density okay and actually you can see the density is uh, increasing as uh, we approach the the surface of our earth okay now above there is less density now let's have a look at the actual values here on the surface of uh, the earth the air has a, a density of 1.293 kilograms per um, meter cubed cubic meter okay now if you go up a bit uh, approximately 10,000 kilometers its density will be 0 0.323 kilograms per square meter so you see it's it's um, decreasing and 
let's look what is the density of a cloud and this is the maximum value that I found on the internet it's um, actually they say that the density of a cloud is between a, a 0 uh, 0.0001 kilograms per meter cube or this, this is the maximum value and now you can see as the weight of this the weight of this is uh, actually equal to mass okay times g which is the gravitational constant and mass can be expressed as rho okay I hope you can read this this is rho times the volume times g okay this is the weight of your cloud actually and this is less okay, I make a C here for a cloud this is actually less or in this point actually it is actually equal to that but it's less than 10,000 kilometers so I will do air a, a here a subscript hope you can read this with prime so this is the 10,000 kilometers times V times G okay G will just cancel as well as V and you can see that the cloud has to float because of Archimedes' principle it says there is some buoyant force and this uh, uh, this buoyant force is equal to the amount of displaced medium uh, in the picture before our medium was water and now it's air and its density is very very low so um, it's not very very it's actually very very low but compared with the density of a cloud it's high so the buoyance force is um, actually very very high and it will push up your cloud and actually if you look at water which is boiling you can see the damp coming up and actually this is damp is are the small particles of a cloud and uh, all together they will uh, group together and they will build up uh, the cloud okay? I hope you understood that it's because of Archimedes principles why uh, clouds fly okay? I thank you a lot for watching uh, if you still have questions if something was not very very precise just ask it I try to to stay very basic in the terms uh, volume uh, the gravitational force uh, do not consider them just have the idea that everything that you put in a medium there is some buoyance force which is pushing it up and the m amount of that is equal to the weight of the displaced medium okay this is the reason okay I hope you had fun and see you next.